Kia ora year 11 and 12. This is question 2E from the level 2 calculus paper this year. This is especially for Johnny who asked very nicely. Um, and this is a kinematics problem. So um, the key thing when you're doing a kinematics question like this is to read through it really, really carefully and then define what you want T to stand for and go from there. Okay, so um, it's not too bad. We've got a car that's traveling at a constant speed of 28 meters per second on a straight road and it's coming up to a corner. So the driver applies the brakes and decelerates at a constant rate of four meters per second squared until the car reaches the corner with a speed of 10 meters per second. Use calculus to figure out how far the car was from the corner when the driver first applied the brakes and justify your answer. So what I would do first in here is to say let T be the time since brakes applied and then let S be the distance traveled or the distance gone or something since the brakes applied were applied. And if you set that up calmly at the start, I think it's going to help you a lot. Then we need to translate some of these numbers into um, conditions using velocity, acceleration, and displacement. So remember, whenever we're doing a kinematics problem, we can start with displacement, we differentiate to get velocity, and we differentiate again to get acceleration. And in this case, we're going to work back up. We're going to be anti-differentiating and looking out for the constant of integration. So let's go back up to the words. Well, the constant speed of 28 meters per second is V0, right? So when the brakes are applied, that's when the speed was 28. The speed is going to change after that time, and we've got to figure that out. Um, we know that the acceleration, A of T, is constant, and it's constant at negative 4 meters per second square, second, seconds squared, sorry. And we know that when the car gets to the corner, it's going to have a speed of 10, but we're not going to use that fact until later. So V at some time is equal to 10. What we have to figure out is what is this T. Then we're going to use this time to figure out what is S at that time. So let's work slowly back with what we've got. Well, the only place we can start is that we know that the acceleration of the car, or the deceleration, is, well, the acceleration is negative 4. Okay, so V of T is the antiderivative of that. I know that lots of you won't have written out that properly, and that's okay at level 2, but I want to show you the correct notation. So in here, our velocity function is going to be negative 4T plus C. So that's V of T. But in this case, we know that V at time 0 is not 0, right? It's 28. So 28 is equal to negative 4 times 0 plus c, which means that c is equal to 28. That gives me a velocity function of negative 4t plus 28. So you can see that we're getting closer. I'm going to anti-differentiate that now to get back to s of t. So s of t is this. And in this case, that gives me negative 2t squared plus 28t plus a different c, a different constant of integration. And um, we can figure this one out pretty easily because we defined t as the time since the brakes had, were, t is the time passed since the brakes had applied. And s is the distance gone since the brakes were applied. So that means that s of 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, 0 equals 0 plus 0 plus c c is equal to 0. So our displacement function is this. So the last part of the puzzle is to say, well, we were asked to figure out how, how far the car was from the corner. But we know um, that the car was going 10 meters per second um, it was at the corner. So let's solve that. Well, we've got negative 4t plus 28 is equal to 10, giving us negative 4t is equal to negative 18. t is equal to 9 over 2, or 
seconds. So S at 4.5 is equal to negative 2. Remember my displacement function is negative 2t squared plus 28t. So we just have to substitute 4.5 in there. And in here, what have I got? Well, I'm just looking at my working. Um, so we've got negative 81 over 2, plus this thing here works out to be 14 times 9. I know that you're just going to chuck that in your calculator, and that's fine. So I got 85.5 meters. So let's just go back up and check what we had to say. Right, well, we had to figure out how far the car was from the corner when the driver first applied the brakes. So if after four and a half seconds the car has traveled 85.5 meters, that's how far it was from the corner, right? So the car was, no one is watching this now, I'm sure, was 85.5 meters from the corner when brakes applied. Something like that. So there you go. Um, I'm probably not going to get time to do many more of the um, questions from Algebra and Calc tonight. I will try and do some tomorrow. So let me know if you've got any special requests. Thanks for watching.